one. Hey, we're live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Well, here's Hello. a really interesting thing. We're live, but we're apparently we're live. <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to show up on YouTube. So apparently YouTube's having a problem this morning. So people will get there when they get there. Well, you know, they all have problems, like everything <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, now it's we're live on YouTube. It's a problematic it's world. Just, you know, the, 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 uh, life actually yeah. is uh, uh, solving problems, no? Yeah. All the that's time, true. we that's what we do yeah. all the time. We solve problems. That's true. That so that true. means that YouTube is li alive too. Yeah, YouTube is something. <laughs> so, we have that debate already. Want, is so, it alive? So our, so our so is it alive or dead? Yes, is a corporation <laughs> yeah. a real person? So dead here's the question, or alive. Oh my God, <laughs> oh, Bon Jovi! Here we go. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> Great, the fourteen-year-old in her is about to. So, come what out. topic did you um, choose oh. today, Stephen? <laughs> I didn't choose. I didn't choose squat. At four o'clock this morning, I got a text though that says we're going to talk about wokeism. So I'm excited to hear about woke. And I, I got so. the message, and I say, "What the hell? He's not sleeping." I never sleep. Because it was it was very early for you. <laughs> Vampires yeah. don't need to sleep. They just kind of that's true. Lay in the just suck off. I just drink the human blood and eat little babies, and I'm oh, happy. Oh, he, he doesn't it's... look like a vampire to me. That's because I'm not wearing my, my, my bond. She looks to jacket. me like a, a very, very uh, hard supporter of Woke Agenda. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I saw are you, you somewhere on the you, street, are you I would say, this guy <laughs> is cross-dressing in the evening or or uh, he, he puts, the, you know, Peru, uh, pop, probably, 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 probably he's got like 10 different kind of um, identities, sexual identities, 10. Oh, At least. Yeah, isn't sure. okay, like yeah, he's yeah. a boy, uh -huh. he's not a boy, but not a girl, but there not in between. Ooh, yeah, you never know. Yeah. So what do you know about the walk? What is it uh, in general? Is it a, they say agenda? Is it an ideology? Is it um, a philosophy? Is it um, what it's is crap? It? It's crap. Walk, walk agenda. <laughs> the woke agenda is a I mean, bunch well, of crap. Yeah, it's but hard. I want a definition. It's you know, hard. we always start with yeah. a definition. Okay, okay, I have a definition here from uh, Wikipedia. Okay. From the, Wikipedia. Yeah. Woke is an adjective derived from African American vernacular English. My English is very good. Huh? Original yeah, meaning great. alternance to racial prejudice and discrimination. Beginning that in I agree the 2000. With. Let me finish. Beginning okay. in the 2010s. It came to be used as slang for an awareness of social inequalities, such as racial injustice, sexism, and denial of LGBT rights. This is the okay. uh, the short. Right, but they doesn't, don't. But they doesn't don't doesn't, doesn't sound that. bad. Doesn't no, sound no, bad. No, I like that no. that definition. It all started I'm, in a good in a yeah. good way. Well, not in a good way. Yeah. Maybe it was their way of it's saying like, need to be aware like the of the Superman. You know, it started in a good way and then it just went to shit. It's like the original Marvel Universe started just, in a good just way. Like some, just like some religions, you know, <laughs> no. they, uh, uh, they they are for love, but where is love? I, I don't there's see no any love. love. People ruined it. They are discriminating LGBT people. But this is right. This is true. In Greece, at least it's it's happening. Uh, as my uh, Uncle the, Vito would say. The church does not accept right it. Here. <laughs> but here's the problem. I like the definition of what wokeism started or what woke started. Mm -hmm you know, against prejudice and everything else. Now, unfortunately, woke is just a bunch of mammy pammies that complain. You're, you're not woke, screw you and you're woke. It's like gay, back in, back until the, the 80s, 70s and 80s, gay men happy, right? And so when someone said, I'm gay, they'd be like, oh, he's happy. And it didn't mean that you were a homosexual. So they take these words and they make them to what they want. So to me, wokeism is a bunch of crap, not the original intent. That I go with. What do they want? What do they want? Blah, blah, blah. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't think they know what they want. I think it's a bunch of millennials. And um, I don't know what generation I'm on. I was born in the year two. 
Anyway, um, so that's millennials. DC. We're second um, because I, I chose the, the topic uh, because it's right. uh, there's a lot of talking, but uh, there was the Olympic ge- uh, opening. Did you have a chance? Oh, to yes, so I, I didn't. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't. I didn't. And there is a big debate about it. There was a big debate about it. How woke yeah. uh, this also is. Another, Wait. another thing. Uh, have you heard of Eurovision uh, contest? The yes, song contest. I've heard the Eurovision. This yes, is right. also very very woke. But this one actually started from um, homosexual people, I think. I mean, many, many decades ago when not many people were watching it. Uh, it was or, or it was a, as a part. So it's it's a it's a party of happy people. They're colorful and you know. I'm very happy. Much quality in the music and the songs, but uh, it's a it's a game. But wait, the Olympics though. I, I did I not see the I, I could I could give a crap about the Olympics. I don't want to mention any names, Vicky. That stayed up until three o'clock in the morning watching the Olympics. Um, Vicky is but, watching Olympics. She said that yes. last time. Yes. yes, but here's the problem with the Olympics is I, I didn't I saw the opening I read the news I read the news saw the videos mm-hmm. and they're talking about oh it's anti Christian and it's anti this and it's anti that no it's art that's all it is I don't understand this woke is yeah it's art and also well, it, the fact that people believe the Bible which is was written by a bunch of men you know that a bunch of guys got together and put it together that doesn't it wasn't written by the real people who wrote it. So my point is, it's sort of like, it's just a belief. And I looked at the picture of the, I guess what they said, the Last Supper, it just looks like some fat chick with a bunch of people eating food. The guy with the horseman, they go, it's an apocalypse. I'm thinking that's pretty cool technology. So, you know, I think you oh, can see Oh, is that what they said was? Anything. No, oh, no, no, oh, no, I didn't God, take it like this. Horseman. I didn't take yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just saying that's what everybody was complaining about it, oh. um, which I thought was very interesting. They were, I'm looking at it going, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. I thought it was all cool yeah, technology. I, cool. I didn't look at it as anything else. The the biggest mm-hmm. complaint, I think, right. was in two uh, categories. Because the other, the, 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 the horse rider and everything else is just right. aesthetics. What oh, uh, was more than aesthetics is the pointing to something it's the uh, there was something like the the the, the, the how, how it's called in English the, the holy dinner or, or how how you call it I just said that the last, last supper. supper Oh, the yeah. last supper yeah that's, sorry I just yeah. said that I said the fat check yeah, yeah I didn't, I didn't check. catch it yeah. I didn't catch yeah. it that yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the last supper it was the last supper Are you not and uh, and then 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 they said that it wasn't the last supper it was from uh, it was more about the ancient Greeks because there were also twelve. And Christianity in general has right. uh, taken a lot of things from other uh, uh, right. religions, so, but I think sure. all religions share things anyway. And uh, and it was <clears> obvious <throat> that it was uh, more of this kind of, of presentation right. about the ancient, because there was obvious that there was Dionysus, the the, the, the ancient right. god, right. that he was in the <laughs> in the, the table, blue one. Right. And holding, you know, grapes mm-hmm. and stuff like it was mm-hmm. totally obvious. Mm-hmm. And later they said that uh, it was taken from um, a painting of uh, like 17th century. I don't remember mm-hmm. the, the painter. And uh, yeah, he did uh, plenty of those mm-hmm. works that remind this. And his uh, his um, inspiration was the supper, but he uh, because it was after the uh, Renaissance and stuff, and they they, right. they put a lot of ancient greek stuff into the pa- the paintings and he did it kind of uh, connected to the original uh mm-hmm. you know um tradition or, or myth or something like that with the greeks and then all the christians uh all, almost all you know they just right, right. Uh, arose because behind the <laughs> like uh, lgbt people and how can you connect this with the supper etc etc and the organizations they have taken the clips out now you know it's um for me this is the scandal they are taking them out for this me. whole thing is bullshit let me just be blunt this is all bullshit it's a bunch of mamby pamby woke why why whatever because, because listen and what is art. bullshit it all everything everything they're saying it's the last no it's a fat chick with her friends they're eating grapes i never saw a fat person eat a grape but sure that's let's go yeah yeah it was obvious, great people you. okay that's 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 bogus but it was it was fine uh, he had the also was, all everything that dionysus was wearing so yeah sure let's go with that of and course we are horse. just talking about that later we will go into the uh the agenda the ideology no no, no no i understand that but i'm just saying it to me it was just all we, this whole thing about who cares it's art if you don't want your kids to watch stuff then turn off your ipad turn off your t- i mean like enough it's is about enough. them not the We're kids getting, uh, no. they say about the kids also but uh, yeah. yeah here's the problem 
I don't Vicky's like 20 something. So anybody and we'll exclude <laughs> Vicky and Rachel from this because they're both she's like little teenage girls because they go to get yeah, she's not really. She's like 107. Anyway, um, but Ageless. anybody under say 45 to zero pussies. Full stop, a bunch of pussies because they've never lived through anything. They've lived in this society where we're gonna protect you. We're gonna no, we're not. They this lived through a pandemic. That's a big deal. Let's stop it. Punch up pussies in that too. We can't go out. We can't do this. We can't do that. Meanwhile, Dubai and, the, and Norway and the rest of the country worlds are like, yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it. And everybody's, yeah, fine. Same thing. So my point is, is that this Olympic thing is much to do about nothing. I think they could, I they, they did the con. I, that's it's the biggest waste of time in the world. And two, they can't even sell tickets to the Olympics. Like there's a half a million tickets unsold. So I think the Olympics are the people that cause their own controversy, claiming maybe we can get people to come. No one wants to go to Paris because it's not safe and it's not the Paris of old. No one wants to go to the Olympics because it's in France. I mean, it's all nothing. And this whole thing about the Olympic opening, if it offends you, shut the television off. That's the thing I don't get. They watch it and then they talk about how offended they were because they're so woke because you're a pussy. And then they, they complain about it. I'm like, then turn it off. Don't say a word. Just ah, shut so you, so you say that the, those anti woke are pussies because I understood the no, beginning woke, that the, no 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 woke people. That, I, listen, if you're woke about um, somebody's like what it started out to, if you're gonna if you're gonna stand up against racism and people being um, unfair to the um, LGBT MOUSE community and all that other crap, and you're for rights of people, and you want to call yourself woke fine i would just call yourself an activist it's a lot better because woke has a bad connotation but if you're going to be like i watched the olympics it was so little johnny saw it, it was so not me <laughs> so not me yeah. right and i but wanted it to point. be me what did you think show vicky? me there <laughs> yeah but wait vicky's actually v watching this vicky what, what what's, what's your opinion about well, it what's your it's funny because the thing I thought was going to offend people when I was watching it is they went and did like this fly through of the Louvre and they yeah. showed all the statues and paintings and stuff. And I thought, oh, they're showing all the Greek statues that they took from Greece mm. and in the museum. <laughs> Good point. It's the Olympics. And they're kind of like, hey, Greece, look, we took the Olympics and we took all your shit, too. Yeah, that, that was one. And, and the second, then, yeah. but if you want to uh, see them live, you have to come to Paris. You have to come to Paris. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and so you thought that's actually. what they would be offended about that the, the, the yeah, drone that that would be flying through the moon. Okay. But no one, no one was woke about that, I guess. But, um, but I guess, you know, the, the opening of a, of a Olympic ceremony is actually right. about the, the the city and the country in general of the that right. it's holding the Olympics. host country mm -hmm. so it's a kind That's of right, advertisement yeah. for the it's not that paris needs any advertisement but the, everything is an advertisement does. because uh, we need uh, 40 million uh, tourists and 30 million we need 10 more you know like like that and and it's yeah. not only that it's more than that. So, so they so so the opening because greece had also olympics in 2004 and if you have any any time to watch this is one of the most beautiful openings because this is mm -hmm. an artist the most famous mm -hmm. artist in greece i, I don't have to tell of course it, it helps that greece has very long history mm -hmm. and the ancient the uh, great alexander and later byzantine and later new new you know so we got a long history so it's, we have uh, you know the, the the material for for showing this stuff but I think that this whole uh, thing that happened is what France is. I've been to France many times, and I know the French. They're like that. They're like that. They they have the the, the statues. We don't care. It's uh, it's part of our uh, heritage that we stole things like the like the British, and but, we show it. It's 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 true. <laughs> what do you think? But here's the thing. But here's the thing. I've been to I've been to France too many times in Paris, which isn't my favorite place. I go outside of Paris. Um, because I like to hang out with people. Um, but the pro the problem is, in a good way, they're very, for lack of a better term, freer and more liberal than just say the pilgrims here in America. So sexuality, nudity is no big deal to them. So when the Paris no, people, uh, used to be when I was there, oh, those girls in that red light, never mind. Anyway, um, but the, I, I, think 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 the Paris, I think when the Paris people, I think when the people were making the opening for the Olympics, 
I think in their mind, they're thinking this is a beautiful art. This is this, this is that. And like I said, the things that I've seen, I would like the horse coming down the river and they're going, it's the apocalypse horse. I'm thinking this is the coolest technology, like I said, ever. Yeah. You know, I didn't see the last supper with the fat chick. I just saw a fat chick with her friends, you know, like, there you go. So I didn't care. So I don't, that's why I said, I don't understand this woke. I think people need to be, for lack, I hate this term woke. I think they need to be woke because they need something to be mad about. They they, they got to be mad. If they're having a good day, they, if something doesn't go wrong that day, they have to find something they, to be they mad. Need, like, they have to be mad. You're right here. I think I, I also think so. Uh, let's see what Vicky has to say. Uh, I think you're right here because, and we had a uh, show about that. They need to be polarized. And it's right. good for the politics also because as we see, they're using it a lot. And they're pushing into more pol polarization mm -hmm. because it uh, works in favor of politics. What do you think, Vicky, about that? Well, I think, you know, it's funny. The term... When I think it's used as a verb, which I think it kind of originally was, you need to be woke yeah. about the, what's around you, right? So that you know, um, you know, it, it came from when it was dangerous to be African American, you know, and you had to be right. you had to be aware of what was going around you, so you weren't singled out and you know a victim of violence and and that kind of stuff. So like when you need to be aware, that's one thing. But when you're woke as a you know descriptive noun. I right. think it's ridiculous because at what point do you even draw that line, right? Like anything could offend anyone. You can't anticipate what everyone's going to be offended about, like in the Olympic opening ceremony. I'm sure they didn't think, oh, we want to have this horse because it's going to piss A, B, and C off. But at the same time, like if someone, you know, I'm into K-pop and sometimes these kids will wear dreadlocks and do like, you know, some some that kind of stuff. It's like they need to be informed about what they're doing. That is probably not a good thing. Um, Why? I, Why isn't that? A good, if you're in South Korea, I don't think you. it doesn't matter to you because that's not you're not offending anybody in South Korea. Those are, you're just performing. Right, right. If it stayed there. Yes. But when you take right. money from the rest of the world and you make money off other countries mm -hmm. that at the same time you're being insensitive to you should probably be educated okay. in that way now educate me now because i understand how if i were if i'm a performer and i'm going to do yeah. i'm going to do a bob marley song as an example and i put on yeah. dreadlocks you put on black am i offending somebody a black face is different that's is different. it you're drawing a line now where do you draw well, yeah, that because line? black because blackface was meant to be racial when it started now mm -hmm. um does a guy named Andrew Schultz does a comedy bit and he talks to a black guy in the audience and he says, mm -hmm. if you know, we're Navy SEALs and we have to go on a mission at like midnight. He says, you know, he says, right. is and that bad? If I, and he starts yeah. and he laughs and he goes, and you can't smile. I mean, so he, he brings yeah. it out. And so in certain things, it's not a bad thing right now. I'm not for blackface. Right. I never did it as a kid. I, I never would do it. But if an actor or even like Saturday Night Live, they throw on dreadlocks and they're doing it's they're just they're not making fun of a culture. They're just it's part of the they're just making fun in general. Like there was. A, and so I don't understand it. And I guess when you said even when you said, oh, you have to be woke and be careful because you're 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 black. You, the, yeah. It came in 2010. That's a sad state of um, the world to say that you have to be careful in 2010 if you're black. It's a sad state well, no, to that's be, when it be careful in 2024. Be, that's when it changed to be under the umbrella of okay. the other terms, right, Adam? That's when it changed to be the LGBTQ and all that. When that Yeah, but, but, but isn't it that. still dangerous to be black in some areas? Yes. Black, oh, sure. LGBT, Jewish, uh, I don't know, or any kind of uh, minority. Of course. It's still. So in, in, we can say that in, in one way, uh, the struggle, like, okay, let's take the, 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 the gay people. Uh, they have the parades, you know, the gay parade. We have it here right. in Greece. We have it all around Europe. I don't know. If well, you guys have them daily in Greece. So it's a whole thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we like uh, parties. <laughs> I know. It's a party city. You know. <laughs> of course it is. What, what else is it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a party to, to celebrate life. And yeah, yeah. Uh, being alive and, b and being existent right. and with an identity. 
Right. Mm. Right. And in Greece, especially, because Greece is surrealism, I tell you, really, there is an anti gay parade, which they call the, it happened already twice. This is family right. parade. So there are families okay. going out and walking in the street, like a lot of them, you know, and yeah. holding, you know, uh, pictures of uh, Jesus Christ and uh, Mary, yeah. you know, and everything and saying that. Uh, uh, we want to protect the families, you know, we don't mm -hmm. want, and they, they don't say it openly that they do it, do it against the, the gay, but they nice. call it uh, family pride. So, okay. <laughs> so you see the connection that it's obvious that they, they don't admit nice. it, you know, th th this is nice. the first hypocrisy for me. That they do not mean it that they are against it. The second thing that I want to tell about that is that uh, yeah. they think that the, the gay people and everything is destroying the family. I ask them, why? How? How are yeah. they destroying your families? I mean, if you look at the news and you say, oh, this one raped a child, or this one raped a woman, well, those are not gay people. Gay people yeah. don't rape <laughs> women. <laughs> right. And women are the victims of, uh, of, and women are also, I think, uh, uh, in the work agenda, I mean, uh, the protection of women, yes? Uh, because it's about all, any kind of uh, minorities, I think minorities mm -hmm. any kind of action violent action against people for a uh, specific uh, uh, reason so let me ask this question to both of you first of all when someone says they're walking with a picture of jesus and mary you don't know what they look like so you're walking with just a picture it could be anybody so that's i don't get that so you two are not jewish you can explain it to me at some point the other thing is I don't care if you have a parade whether you're gay or straight or you want a family day or this day or that day and it goes back to like sticks and stones will break my bones, but words won't hurt me. So if you have a sign that says we hate gays, good for you. If you have a sign that says we love families, good for you. We don't care. I mean, and we've gotten to a thing where people actually, which is the funniest thing in the world, think that when they're marching and they're on Instagram and they do that, what they say matters. It doesn't. Nobody cares except the other million well, people that they believe think, in what they, they say. Think, this is what you think, that nobody cares, but they think that everybody yeah. cares and I they they also one of their um um uh, things they are saying in general about this is that there is too much of it like uh, too much, too much uh, what? Uh, drug queens too much gay too much uh, mm. uh black people and in fact there is something like that <laughs> wait, wait, yeah wait wait too much black people um, that's, you can't, they can't be too many, they're human beings. And you're just saying there's too many human beings. Yeah, yeah, I'm, to, I'm, I'm saying about the shows because I think that the, oh, okay. uh, uh, the, the big platforms, uh, you know, with films and everything, Netflix and all of them, yeah. I think there is a, I don't know if it's a, I don't think it's a law, but there is an agreement that in every serial and every movie, uh, there will be yeah, at sad. least, yeah, uh, so, yeah. Uh, a, a relation, shown a relation between two homosexuals and one black guy and sometimes no, I've i just seen... saw i just saw i just saw deadpool there was no homosexuals and no dead guy there might no, be somewhere hidden way, <laughs> except that ryan reynolds i don't know if you were deadpool and wolverine did it but i got didn't have anything to do with homosexuality it was doing but, but you're talking about anyway, you're talking about yeah. uh, uh, i'm talking about television uh, the platforms i don't in it's cinema same, it, so, it can't so, happen so, in cinema right, it can't sag, happen the sag, the SAG actors, the minority SAG actors, the, um, the, and if I forget you, please forgive me. I don't know all the things that are out there. You know, human beings are human being, but apparently not. So if you're Asian or black and Latino, those are the three that I'm aware of. If there's more, let me know. Um, or American Indian or American, whatever the hell you're called. I give them, it is what it is. Um, there, they were saying they didn't get enough representation. So what happened a few years yeah. ago is they would start, they would put more minorities for lack of a better term in movies sometimes it had nothing to do with it and to me i don't care just I, I don't care what your color of your skin is or what your sex is just be a good actor or actress or a thespian and do your job so when they're like you have to put more of this and you have to put more of that i'm like why can't we just get the most qualified person to do that part so i think this <sighs> wokeism has gotten to a point where it's gotten stupid it's like we talked about this on Lost Dollar Business Club Black about diversity officers, right? 80% of diversity officers at corporations and at universities, black women. And, and, and the other 20% are like, I guess are, are either men or other ethnicities or gay. And we were saying, 
well, that's not diversity. Like, yeah, so it's like, it's like, for, so we just, if we would just get away from the, I don't understand why we're all fixated on color and we just don't go, this is the most qualified person and as well as sex. I don't care if you're a male or female. You're, there's only male and female. Sorry, people. Would you be whatever else you want? I don't give a shit, but male and female until science tells me there's another one, then that's fine. So why don't we just get the most qualified human being, whether it's an actor or actress or a thespian or for a job. And we don't, well, we don't need the woke stuff. You know, it's like, it's, if we all just got along and actually just said, everyone's a human being, we take the most qualified and that's it. What's wrong with that? You don't need woke then. Then where woke start for the black community, where you have to be like aware. But everybody of would agree with this. It's not. No, the they thing. won't. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Have you listened to the Republican Party? Really? They don't agree with. Oh, okay. I exclude um, those. And the, because, and the, uh... excuse me. And the Christian <laughs> and your and and the so-called Christians and the guy with the funny pointy hat and his people wouldn't agree with any of it. So the problem is, is that we don't agree with it. And apparently, in in I mean, at least in a certain area, I don't want to mention, you know, Gaza, um, they don't seem to agree with it because you're two different religions and you still come from the same theoretically place. So everyone, everyone talks a good game that they all agree with it. We all get along and we all need to love each other. And we're going to have this kumbaya moment. But when it comes really down to it, we don't do that. We are basically a very racist planet. So all the wokeism and all this other bullshit if you're not, if someone says I'm woke and you're like, I'm woke too, but you don't agree with their wokeism, then they're not, then you're not part of their little group, then it's bad. So that's what the issues are. The issues are that we make up these words. They mean absolutely nothing because if you disagree with someone, then it's no good. So really we're not, it, we're, it, we do more injustice to our planet than injustice. That's what I think. But what do I know? I'm in charge. So let's ask Vicky, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little Thursday, tip the weights that. <laughs> what do you think, Vicky? Women, your, women your, know. I always women know everything. Women. I know. That's what we always say. Women yeah, know yeah, everything. Yeah. What do you I, know, Vicky? I, yes, I come uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> Hair flip moment. Yes. By that. Know, right? uh, uh, yeah, no, I mean I agree with you know 90% of what Steven said for sure. I I think now it's become sort of a political football and like a a term to not educate people as I think it kind of started maybe in 2010, but it's become like, well, I know more than you and you're ignorant because you don't know that we're banning Starbucks or what. You haven't, you haven't on. been reading. Right. That you're open a book. I'd say you something that I read today. That, yeah. That kills babies. Cause you're not woke enough. And you're like the F is that. And so mm -hmm. I agree that now it's gotten too far. And now, our conservative public party is like using, you remember how they used to use elitist, Stephen was like, oh, you're, right. an elite, you're an elite, so you yeah. can't relate to people. Now it's your woke and you can't relate to people. And like, that's the new football term. That they're association, like, because it's association, an association. Like now, but they're using great, it for so. political reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So now so we, like, we have hey. to know that those who push the anti-agenda and probably the for agenda are political persons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, Adam, they need to um, separate and divide so they can build their own particular power. Yeah, so, but, but why we know. bite the, 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 the bullet, how, how you say it? Because people are stupid. People are ostriches and they're supposed to just be blunt. We don't that, have to be nice. That does people are ostriches Everybody's and they're stupid. stupid. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, stupid, yeah. There's 8 billion, listen, there's 8 billion people on the planet. 90% of them, dumber than a box of rocks. Okay? They don't have a clue. They, they only get their, and as you know, a certain demographic. Yeah, yeah but they think news they from know. TikTok or they get their news from, yeah, but, but they think what they know. they know, my dog knows more than they do, okay? So yeah. that's the problem. They don't know. They don't read. They I don't want know to meet your dog. And remember, I, so do I. <laughs> um, and, and those people that my don't dog know shit. <laughs> right, my dog, <laughs> just my dog, she's my jealous about smart. me all the time. <laughs> my dog's very smart. She actually just came back from Starbucks for the family, which is very nice. Anyway, um, oh, but the, the, if you don't read history and understand history and have an open mind to like new things, then you just become an idiot. And it's like, oh, it's this. And it's, this is all bad. And so all these people who are woke, if you start talking about actual history and go, you know, this happened a thousand. No, it didn't. Okay. It's in a book. Oh, it's, that's wrong. So all this stuff that's happening, it's kind of already happened. Again. We're just repeating history and we've not changed the cycle. So all we keep doing is having the same issues. It's just a different century. 
And nobody sees that. And no one's saying we need to change the way we think as a planet. But we don't because it's land acquisition. How much money can I get? What can I own? What can I do? And no one says, okay, how do we make it better? And the five people that want to make it better get to a point where they're like, yes, good. Let them all kill each other. And that's kind of where we're at right now. You see, how make it better? It's it's becoming a subjective issue. People don't don't, uh, (laughs) follow, uh, not everybody, but many people don't follow the scientists when they say, guys, we're fucked up with the climate. And I tell you that this summer here in Greece, it's unbearable. It's unbearable. I mean, it's so hot. It's it's hot in the. That's because of all the parades. Yeah, it's getting hot. <laughs> the, the parades. All they're the ruining farts. the weather while they're at it. Maybe they're farting. Yeah. They gay farts and uh, yeah, they fart. the, the That's polluting, the yeah, polluting the straight air yeah. that we are living That's in. Right. <laughs> Here's what's really funny. Somebody is going to see this. And they're going to, because we let people remix our videos, someone's going to see this. And that is going to be the one that gets 50 million views that gay farts pollute <laughs> straight air. And that is and that is the one that is going to make. Man, I just, I make I just made the <laughs> argument for winning the, 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 the oh, everything. Oh, my God. I hope Trump no. does not watch us. <laughs> right. Donnie, Donnie watches. Donnie, ad. That Donnie yeah. watches all the shows. I'm assuming at the next event at the Kamala is watching is, for sure. Kamala loves us. She sends us a text message every day. Our Kamala love. won't use that. She's she's a little smarter than that. But Donnie and JD, yeah, I but can Kamala see their is next woke. speech. That's why. No, she's not that woke. Um, she used to be a prosecutor. She, I can see that JD and, and Trump. Who is more woke, Kamala or Biden? Oh, well, God. Biden's dead, basically. Yeah, I don't think Biden's he even dead. Yeah, well, yeah, well, Kamala is there, yeah. So, yeah, but it's no, but fresh, I, I still fresh. It. We had him. Yeah, it's, the corpse is still there. I got it. But anyway, I could see. I could He's see still the president of your country. For, uh, not my country. I like but, Joe, um, but yeah. Yeah. Listen, He's the best him. part about it is Fox News is going to tell Donnie they saw this. And because it's on the internet, it's true that gay farts kill straight air. That is going to be the headline but, uh, I, if by next week. I, I will, be I will all read over to the you. News. It'll be the short for sure. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Read you one, care of that. <laughs> I'll read to you one typical conversation on the uh, Facebook, right? That I had okay. uh, with some with a guy who was saying that um, uh, this is bad what is happening. People have to know what Dion, about the opening, right? About Dionysus, okay. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the, the God there, and uh, what he has offered to humanity. And then they have to be ashamed of themselves. Uh, they are uh, totally fucked up uh, people who who discriminate historical personalities. Then I ask her, tell us what he offered to the humanity, uh, Dionysus. Mm-hmm. And uh, he answers, uh, uh, open a book to learn. And I say, help me because I cannot read. And uh, okay. this historical person, as you're talking about, until now, I mm-hmm. thought is a mythical ancient god. All right. But I might be wrong. You know, uh, uh, words have meanings. We always say this. Everything has meaning right. in this life. Yeah. This life is about meaning. Right. I am 100%, not even 99, 100%. And uh, when we say historical or mythical, there is a big difference. Because yeah. historical is something that really existed. And right. mythical, like Zeus, uh, Dionysus, Apollo. How do you know Apollo, Zeus was mythical? But how do you know Zeus was mythical? Because we we talk when we say uh, Greek myths, <laughs> it's uh, in the no, myths. No, but, it's a really. But remember, every myth, every myth starts from some truth. So we don't know that. Yeah, Greek, know that yeah, it's but tr- but the truth here is myth. not a god. There were no you know? real god at the because we went to the to, to, we we go now to the mountain and we don't see any. Palace, or any, there were palaces there. Or they were living there in Olympus. But let's go. The but mountain Olympus. A mil, a mil, there is a not, no sign. Millions, but a million or two million uh, years ago, there could have been. And they just could have just. Been it wasn't two millions ago. It was two and a half How thousand you know? years ago. We, we would have no, 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 still no, no. some. No. no, no. Even the Greeks were saying that those are myths. They were saying. They didn't, sure. believe, they didn't believe that Zeus was flying around and fucking girls all the time and making children here, whoa. here, here, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's and, get back uh, to this. He was flying around? No. So. Uh, literally, <laughs> literally, in the midst, he was flying. Oh, suddenly he was yeah, flying, he turned himself into, into a yeah. rain, golden oh. rain, and as turned swan, himself into. Yeah. It's sex with a swan, or he had sex as a swan. A lot of 
things going on. There and are many crazy stuff, it's, and it's, it's obvious. It's Greek. No, it, it, look, it's Greek, but all kinds of religions and stuff have crazy stuff because right. you know why? Because That's the older everywhere. people, the older people, were not so aware of uh, things that are hap happening in the world as we are now because we have technology. People did not know galaxies hundred years ago. They didn't know that there's mm. there are galaxies. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they kind of did. They had telescopes. No. They were kind of talking about that. Einstein. It was one hundred years ago. It was one hundred yeah, years ago. Years ago, maybe two hundred years ago, they didn't know. But even the Galileo. One hundred year ago, uh, the, uh, Stephen. One hundred year ago, or maybe one hundred ten. It's like this. Okay, take two hundred. Take two hundred. It's it's not a big deal. We're talking about people two and a thousand, two and a half thousand, and more. And uh, at that time, all the religions, all, all all over the world, and everything that is written about the religion, is not literal. There are metaphors, there are analogies, you know, allegories. They're pointing okay. to something. And this, and, and I say always to the, the Christians here, which I, I want a, a short comment about what Trump was saying about the Christian. Christians, you don't have to just go to vote now and then you won't, won't have to vote again. We'll so what talk does about it that mean? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, so wait, 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 just, say, just, just so you know, I want to let you be aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are myths. And the big problem no, no, of no, Christianity. No, the first galaxies, just to get into galaxy, the first galaxies were identified in the 17th century by a French frog astronomer named Charles Messer. Although at the time he did Messer. not know what they were, Messer, who came observance of comets, spotted a number of fuzzy objects. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but they didn't know sky, it's a galaxy. They, it, they didn't know but it's a galaxy. It they didn't know what galaxy are. The first uh, the, uh, galaxy they discovered well, it was Andromeda. Then if, uh, galaxy, so the, the galaxy, closer to us. So the, right, Hubble, so Hubble, uh, Hubble, Hubble yeah. discovered the Milky Way. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and, oh, uh, not not Milky Way, the Andromeda, because this no, is the Milky Way. I'm reading the thing. It says Hubble discovered the Milky Way. Yeah, but they understood that there are galaxies because they saw Andromeda and they ca and they calculated yeah. the distance and they say, oh yeah. fuck. This is not a star like the other we have here. This is two and a half million light years away. This is too far. Right. So that, that, that thing there is too far away from what we know okay. uh, up to now. And it looks too big. Then they started <laughs> to make a hypothesis of, 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 of galaxies and stuff like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We know much, 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 much more. Uh, no. Do you want to talk about we, Trump we, now? Making yeah, that statement we, to the Christians? Just, just, <laughs> just to finish, to finish the, the sentence. Uh, sure. We know much more now and we yeah. are jumping to the other side from myths and, you know, gods who are jumping around <laughs> girls yeah, right. and uh, places like uh, from Egypt to Greece, like jumping around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are sure. going to a, a literal world. Literal. Everything we take literally. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Sorry. what the fuck? My works, my works are metaphors. If you take them literally, uh, yeah. Can you take this literally? How can you take this literally? I take it literally, by the way. I do. When I saw that, it's, I it's well, I you it. literally have it. But uh, <laughs> I literally have it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's not literal. It's a, yeah. alien software. It's called what? What's literal? Do you know? Do we know there are aliens? How we know they look yes. like that? Well, we don't yeah. know. We have like we had dinner last night. <laughs> so I'm over here. So. Vicky, Vicky, I, tell us what you think about what Trump said about the, Yeah, what do you think oh, about I Trump? Do you know what he don't, said? Yes. Okay. You guys have to tell Let me. me I was watching Trump, the Olympics apparently, I, and I, I will, that. I actually ah, it was, it okay. was in Reuters, the Washington Post, and a whole bunch of news. On Saturday, he was at an event in West Palm Beach, and he said, "Christians, if you vote this November." And I win, you'll never have to vote again. That Go vote. Quote. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's what's really funny. A whole bunch of Christians, and it was in the article, said, that's not the Christian whatever I stand for. I stand for democracy as a Christian. So a lot of them were very offended by that. And I was like, whoa, dude, you really just screwed up your base. Um, that's basically making it sound like he's a demigod. Or he's going to be the next, you know, king. king. And I mm -hmm. think as much as the Christians go, yay, yay, Trump, because, you know, you say the crap we want to hear. They're all as, as, as wrong as most of them are. And I mean, with their beliefs and everything else, they believe in one thing. And I give them credit for it. They believe in democracy. And having a king 
is not a democracy. And I it's think not a case. that was not the, yeah, no. And he said, I mean, I, I'll send you the article later, Vicky, but, but, I but was shocked Stephen, that maybe he didn't mean yeah. that. Maybe he didn't mean that's that. What I, I will of course, become, uh, yeah. That's I what, never that's said what that. No, wait, wait. That's, there is no, a, there is that's, another possibility. That's what they all say. No, there's no other possibility. That's what oh, he I said. I will tell you yeah. another possibility. And no, you will agree. Be, you will agree. I doubt it. I will <laughs> fuck up so much the world that there will be no war. So you won't have to. No. I will kill you all. So you <laughs> won't you have that. to vote again, Christians. You will go to heaven. No, very see, no. maybe that's it. You see? Well, the problem maybe that, maybe it's even worse. That, maybe it's even worse. Maybe. The the problem with the, I'm going to go to heaven thing is that there's only a certain amount of people that are allowed in, and everybody else gets to live on the fringe. It's not like everybody gets to go there. So there's a flaw. That's flawed. But his spin doctors said after, and it was in the article for the Washington Post, and it, not Reuters, but Washington Post had a better article. It was talking about well, no, what he meant was, and everyone's like, no, no, this is what he said. Like, literally, if you vote for me, there'll never be another election. You don't have to worry about voting again, yada, 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 yada. And like I said, a lot of them were like, that's not democracy. So as much as the Christians don't want Camilla for whatever her whatever the reason is, because they're going to take away plastic straws, which is what the, the Republicans are saying now, that's their, that's their beef against her. They're going to take away plastic straws. That's, way, that's how you vote on a president, whether you have plastic straws or not. <sighs> um, yeah. The Christians at least know that we are a democracy. And you can't have a king. You have to have an election because we bring in fresh blood to help us move from A to Z. And Joe Biden today, I don't know if you guys saw this article in the, um, was in the FT and pretty much in the, every other paper, the New York Times and the Journal, um, was saying that he is going to, re wants to revamp the uh, Supreme Court because they want to change the yeah. thing where a president is exempt um, from his presidential crimes and they're like, no, you cannot, because no man's above the law. So there's starting to be a movement, and I had one earlier, so thank you. Um, but there's starting to be a movement that I think because Camilla is is pushing, she raised two hundred million dollars, which, and, and she also raised, I think it was a hundred million dollars, like overnight, which is the most anybody's ever raised. Camilla Harris is going to give Trump a run for his money. And I am, I, I don't know who's going to win, but it looks like she's not going to lay down and take it. And I think they're supposed to be debating in September on ABC. So no one's going to watch it. Um, so <laughs> CNN, come on, chop, chop. Or they should come on our channel because everyone will watch it. But who is going to debate? Very interesting. Uh, Camilla and Trump. And is, it, is it sure? Yeah, it ABC. Sure? Yeah, no one's going to watch it. But, it's gonna be on ABC. but I think Camilla is not yet officially... Camilla chosen Zip. as you know a why? candidate. She's, she's, everyone's endorsing her. She's raising money like a drunken sailor. Yeah, but officially, courthouse. officially. Got, officially, she's going to get, she's going to get the nod um, next month at the, at the, 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 the yes. Democratic Party, unless something happens yeah, to Some her, guys say that they it. don't now, want her. Nobody's the saying Democratic that. Party. There's not one person. Yeah, well, yeah, the Republicans oh, no, are saying, I, I've here's heard, the issue though. That. Whoever she picks as her vice president, though, because J.D. is screwing up big time with everything he's saying, right? He's, he's using racist terms. He's making fun of people. There's a speech he did this weekend that they're tearing apart. This guy is like, um, uh, what's her face that ran with um, McCain? Oh, pa Palin. Sarah Palin. This guy is Donald Trump, Sarah Palin. Thank you, Oh, remember, the, remember um, her? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I, I dressed guys. up as Sarah yeah. Palin for um, Halloween. Just, just oh, ten yeah. seconds. You're, ten seconds. You just. Don't. You're not woke. In, you're not woke. You're not. You're not woke if you dress up like Sarah Palin. But anyway, so oh, the yeah, really I cool thing really I think. I, I know, right? So it's I think it's really not cool. A is, it, one. It, it's not a fun right. one. We have to figure out who um, Miss Harris is going to pick as her vice yeah. president. I think that's going to determine if she wins or not. In my opinion, if she can so. pull from the center. If her vice president Joel Tough. can make it from the center, is that what you're saying? And then pull so those votes away from yeah. I, But here's, I, yeah, she's. It's gonna be interesting to see who she pulls as a vice president because yeah. if I'm looking at like if you're the president and this is your vice president, God forbid you die, what's this idiot gonna do? Um, mm. Then the question is like JD, I already know what you're gonna do. Uh, you know, thank you. And then, excuse me, the question is what's gonna happen if. Uh, Harris wins, and it really is who can she pick? I like 
the ex-governor of Pennsylvania, who's now a senator, the big guy that wears short sleeves with the goatee, and he tells it like it oh, is, and yeah. I like him. Yeah. And then, yeah. but he's probably a little too crazy for the for the rest of the planet. Where I'm like, this is the perfect guy. And then they've got a bunch of other people that they've mentioned, oh, oh. and they're very nice and they're very okay, concerned. guys. But this is about walk here. We are going again. Uh, <laughs> we will we will talk every time what about this. Read, but I want to yeah. I want to ask uh, Vicky. Yeah, yeah it yeah. happens uh, with uh, with us too. It's no worry. <laughs> Stephen, uh, Stephen, it's, it's his fault. Uh, Vicky, are you a Christian? Mm, oh, wow. uh, I'm a, I'm a recovering christian former christian do you play one on recovering television? it was a, a disease <laughs> i was i was technically baptized twice uh mm. no but well, what you do you believe in christianity do you believe in Je I, jesus no not now okay. you don't believe you, you you're agnostic you're no yeah i guess agnostic is probably the best term. okay maybe because if you were, I would ask you that uh, would this, uh, what Trump said, uh, would this, uh, but, but, but anyway, Trump no, is I a very, very hard supporter of anti walk agenda. Is there a name for, for those guys? anti anti walk or how, how are you? Uh, racist. Ignorant. <laughs> uh, racist ignorant. Ignorant. Can, can we say yeah. conservative? Uh, no, that'd no. be an injustice to the conservatives. Yeah, but in generally, in yeah. general, in generally, when he's talking uh, things like that to Christians, not all the Christians think the same in the same way, right? right. And yeah. uh, well, I, I always, yeah. I believed in separation of church and state. Always. Yeah, but that's different. This is what, political what, stuff. Well, but that was what one of our basis of our. Um, the French has was. in their constitution. The first thing is this: that they separate the the church and the yeah, state. We do too. We we did yeah. in Greece. We don't have it. <laughs> yeah, we we have. In Greece, that, we don't have it's it. It's something that's kind of been eroded. Now we don't have, we don't separate church and state anymore. We used to. Now it's like it's just they're putting um, the Ten Commandments in schools in certain states. They're doing this. Mm -hmm. They're doing that. A lot of it is we, they. I think they think we're back in the 1600s and we just got off mm -hmm. the Mayfair or Mayflower. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Um, promoting the moving line. So I think they're, I think they're <laughs> doing, I think they're doing that, which is kind of interesting. And the problem is, is once again, it's just history repeating itself. And so I think no, the, everything will be telling the, the woke thing, I don't think is any different than what it was 500 years ago. I'm sure there were woke people back then and they called it something different. There's always been prejudice. There's always been people who go, why, you know, it, it take the civil war, right? North and South. Mm -hmm. What were they fighting against? Slavery. Why? Because the South thought they can own black people, and the North so, was woke. The North, and then yeah, the <laughs> North was woke. They were like, yeah, no, everyone should be free. So who was Lincoln? Been, it was Lincoln, the president Lincoln, then. Lincoln, yes. Lincoln was the president. Fucking yeah. woke president. Yeah, totally yeah, he, woke. He, he knew what he was totally. Doing. Yeah, he was with Four, the blacks. seven years ago. Yeah, and he, he was white. You know? um, he was a white guy. Who knew? Yeah, but there's a guy maybe he was. There's a there's a um a book I have. It's the Lincoln, um, it's Lincoln or Carver. I forget. It's, it's a it's a black gentleman that's running for president when Lincoln was running for president. For president, and it's their debates. It's a fascinating. It's the it's the, I want to say it's the Lincoln Washington debates or the Lincoln Carver okay. debates, but you can find it on Amazon. George Washington um, Carver or no? No, no. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. I forgot who it was, but it was a black gentleman who was running against wow. Lincoln, and you would read their debates in this book. And they were fascinating. And it's like, if people could debate like that, and, and it would give you this premise of it, like Lincoln would be on one side of the of the field, for lack of a better term, and, and his opponent would be on the other side. And you would have to like re debate and scream and back, not screaming to scream, but scream so everyone can hear them. It was fascinating. So I think people were woke back then. If you want to go with the term, I think they were, if you, if you want to go back a million years, I'm sure there were people that were woke back then. And if you want to go back a billion years, I'm sure there's people then because everything seems to go inherently wrong. But I think we're going into a direction now where, yeah, not so good. I will, tell you what is my, I will tell you what is my problem with the woke agenda or how they call it uh, anyway. Huh? I think the problem is that it's becoming kind of philosophy ideology in a way right. and uh, there are uh, this is what i really don't like uh, they are impo imposing bans uh, how we say that uh, 
um, the imposing bows on, of artworks that were done 50 years ago, which oh, now yeah. they look like racism or something like that, or discrimination and something. Right. But those artwork and art in general is a representation, as you nicely said about uh, those guys and how they need a representation, it's a representation mm -hmm. of their time. And if right. we, if we start banning artworks and films that were done before the walk, the, because, be, before the awakening of you know all right. the sayings and stuff, uh, we kill our history, and then uh, we will not uh, understand why we're doing this. So it's an exaggeration, and also the words sometimes that uh, uh, people are, which which are very woke, you know, in ex exaggerated way. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to be very careful with your language all the time. I mean, yes. uh, you might not have any intention to discriminate or to make unhappy exactly. anybody, but it happens that, oh, you said this and this mm -hmm. points to that and this, this. Come on, guys. It's, yeah. it's becoming a disease. It's becoming because a hysteria, a neurosis, you know, mm -hmm. it's in a psychological way. It's becoming yeah. a problem because it's, it's, it's in the age. It's a, it, you, you are going like there is a far right and there right. is the far left, for example, and stuff like that. You're becoming far too much and you're, and you're mm -hmm. losing the meaning why you're doing this. And you're, mm -hmm. that's why yeah. from, from, from act activism, for example, it's becoming philosophy. And this is not right. good because there are people who, like we, we can see that uh, well, they have, I have a problem seeing people almost naked in the streets, but okay. Mm -hmm. But if they do the gay pirate and the, and the drug queens go out every day half naked, it might be a problem in a way. Well, look, right. we are living in a society with different kind of people, you know, every kind of people. And we need to find a common ground. This is a thing. And uh, pushing the extremes in any direction is not helping this. By the way, because uh, in Europe, we laugh sometimes because you are thinking that uh, uh, Democrats are uh, left and the uh, right. Trump rebels are right. For us, for us, to tell you the truth, Democrats, even with Kamala, uh, is quite right. And okay. Trump, for us, is ultra light. The ultra uh, uh, right, yeah. You understand? They are only right. Both of your parties are are, are very right for us. For us, the left Both is different. We're, we're and so I was born in a communistic right. country, you know. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. We have a different kind of left. What we call left, anyway, because it is a political. It is a political. The woke agenda is about yes, Vicky. Yeah. Well, I think the thing that bothers me about it, going off your point, Adam is it's become this mob mentality now. It's like the woke yes. mob. And if you say something on Twitter or if you say something innocent in your intention on your social media, this mob will like descend and cancel you and humiliate you and say yeah. you're the most horrible person in the world. And that kind of any mob mentality is scary to me, but- But right. isn't this discrimination- isn't exactly. the discrimination already? So they are fighting yeah. something and then they're becoming it. You understand? Yeah, exactly. Right? You become the thing that you fear. Yeah, that you hate. Mm -hmm. That's what happens if you become extremist, if you're becoming too much, too mm -hmm. much. That's what I say we are saying in the show uh, from the beginning. Balance, guys, is the way to go in life in general. Balance. Okay. You want to drink alcohol, go and drink alcohol, but not other day. Not every day. You want to eat meat. <laughs> Go eat meat, but not every day. No, every day. You want to have sex. Uh, do sex every day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. 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 Many times. Many times. <laughs> and, and here's a good thing about that. And sometimes with somebody else. I'm just saying. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying point. to give Vicky. I'm giving, I've seen Vicky's show. I'm giving her advice. Um, so <laughs> I've seen the show where they talk about toys and robots. So I Vicky, think you don't know person. much about Vicky. <laughs> I, can, I have, the, I have, I have. I don't know right her so here. well, anyway. but I can see yeah, from the movie. face a lot. So I right, calm down. Hey, I have a question about this cancel culture. You, you Vicky, brought up. People are going to cancel you. Mm -hmm. They really can't cancel you unless you let them. Yeah, but they cancel you in a in a in a big oh. um, 
uh, in the eyes of the big group of people, you know, who are yeah, uh, the same thinking. And you don't want to be cancer for reasons that you don't believe that you have done something wrong. Look, I am woke without being woke because I think that uh, discriminating people of any kind is, yeah. is, is, is not good. It's not good. Right, I agree. I, I yeah. use the I'm word sure that people saying. are stupid. So in a way, I'm discriminating a group of people but uh, this is a description for me that that look i, I just told you uh, an example about a guy who's saying yeah. go and read a book and i tell yeah. him that I, I don't know how to read i, I can't read i'm uh, stupid you know i can read. tell me you tell me the difference <laughs> between right. the historical person and mythical person right. So if you read so much, you should tell me right. about it. But you know, it's in life, it's not about quantity. It doesn't matter if you have uh, read one million books. It says nothing to me. Yeah. If you haven't understand, not even one. That's a point. You haven't understand, not even one. But I'm trying and, to figure out uh, cancel, though. Not that, not I, when, I understand what you're saying, but Vicky, Vicky brought up cancel. So, and you're saying you, a group of people. But if those group of people, just say they see our show and, and straight people see our show and they don't like it yeah. because we now know that gay farts kill straight air, right? We understand right. that now that the LGBTQ right. farts will kill straight air and straight people are going to die. Now right. there's a group of people that are going to cancel us. Not that I right. care shit because um, we own the station. Um, so how, but who cares? I, if they if they take if they take that so literally, then they're going to cancel us. Do we really care that Look, they're going to cancel us? What are they going to do that's going to wait? Let me. Let me ask you, what are they going to do that's going to cancel us? Okay, so you're looking at it from your perspective, but if you look at it from someone that say say they make their living off of being on social media, <clears throat> they make right. their money off of their YouTube channel, like me. Or their TikTok, or whatever. Yeah, mm. you you get your income from that. And yeah. so when you right. get canceled and they your followers leave, then your advertisers leave, and all of a sudden, because you've said something, now your job mm -hmm. is gone. And we don't care because we, you know, bought the farm. But like someone else, that would matter to them. And so being canceled, yeah, just, just a like just, just a parenthesis, Vicky. Uh, right. In the Olympics mm -hmm. that we're talking about, in the uh, mm -hmm. there are now uh, some sponsors that are withdrawing. Like you can say yeah. it canceled. But from the other mm -hmm. side, you see, mm -hmm. there are okay. the, the, the both extremists are canceling the middle, let's say, which are the most people that actually live. I think the most people is what St Stephen is, is kind of talking. Uh, and it's, it's a good perspective because he, is a, he has a perspective, not only his own, uh -huh. but the middle uh, are the most people, like uh, people with families, uh, not too extremists, they might believe or not in this religion, other religion, yeah, or not right. at all. And then, yeah, right. <laughs> and they just want to live their lives, you know, they don't right. even understand those guys or even that guys, because they're extremists right. for them. For me, they're both extremists. I understand them, I think I do, uh, but uh, they're extremists to me. And what they are doing, they are canceling the middle, actually. And they are saying, look, if you are not with our side, you are with their, them. Mm -hmm. And this is bad because they are leaving the people who don't want to choose be between extremism. I will never choose between extremism. I'm against extremism in general. Right. And uh, I don't want to choose. And this is canceling to me. Why, if I don't support you, I'm becoming them, you know? Mm -hmm. This is bullshit thinking. Bullshit thinking. And after all, you have to understand there are a lot of, like Vicky said, a lot of perspectives. In fact, there are so many perspectives as people, right? And not sure. also animals. But let's take animals outside. There are so <laughs> many perspectives. Dog, your dog, yes. <laughs> life is about perspective. In general, the universe yeah. has brought li life because it needs different perspective. It's obvious mm -hmm. to me. That's, That's why we... Why, you know what we are doing here right now and in every conversation, in everything we do with other people, we are expressing ourselves. That means right. we are sharing perspectives. Look, I see it this way. Yes, but I see it this way. But if we start being the extremists, then we go to the rooftop and then start killing Trump and maybe Kamala and maybe somebody else and maybe somebody else. Right. This is what extremism does. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the king of extremism in political uh, terms, in the U.S., is Trump. Right. It's yeah. not Kamala. Right. I wouldn't say it's Kamala. It's Trump. He has the hate. How many times he has used the hate 
uh, uh, logic in his in his sayings uh, all the time almost even we even what we good. said today even what we said today is is a kind of uh, look you don't have to vote anymore you don't have to vote anymore uh, you know just once just put me into and then but if you die don't worry i have children that will continue my legacy to be kings but but just the arrogance to think that you know voting is something we have to worry about doing like don't worry about that i'll take that off your plate yeah you, you, you know, just like, you just fucking years. work there and you don't go to church and you know you don't do this stuff okay. but being with us you don't have to worry yeah uh, but but you know who grabbed women's you, private parts right so can you imagine oh no it's a different well, never mind it's a different different discussion that's fine. we can imagine go down there you can discuss whatever you want ricky no, how no, often no, are you no, going to no. be on the show so bring it up uh, i think I we have to would... permanently you have to find a fee for her to to pay her to be here <laughs> that's right my appearance fee come on yeah. uh no i was just thinking like, hey, ricky, you know what i paid to you last week find sponsors double that <laughs> <laughs> yeah Wait, I have had I have earbuds. I'll offer the of make them an offer that cannot refuse. Oh, oh don't goodness. say that, Adam, because we'll get all kinds of creepy ass weird. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of um, like doubt. Then then you'll get people going, "You're not woke. How could you say that to the poor girl?" <laughs> so, us us, just send her a bag of candy. She'll be fine. Anyway, go ahead, Vicky. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just thought, what if we what if we had to vote? Like you have to have jury duty, or you have to, you know, when you it's part yeah. of your duty as a citizen, you have to cast a vote. You can cast a vote for no one or something, but what if everybody Norway you have to, vote. to uh, vote. But the best democracy is in Switzerland. They have cantons, small you know, yeah. like you have in America, Texas is divided into what counties? Yeah, every county. Yeah, well, the is, counties every counties, the right. counties in Switzerland, they right. vote uh, every so and so. I mean for, for uh, um, things that uh, have to do with their county. Like, do you we want your next week's show on voting? If Vicky can make it, we should do all next week's show then on voting. Yeah, this we always say about the next show, topic. and then you and you, then you yeah. ask me what is the next topic, and I forget yeah, what yeah. we have talked about. Okay. <laughs> all right, so next week, why don't we discuss voting and we can discuss it on a global Yeah, level. yeah, what we will see it later. That? Just to close, I will, I, my final say about the walk agenda uh, sure. because that's a, that's a topic is yeah, yeah. guys, you are becoming extremist. I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. There, you're becoming extremes uh, and extremist, like the person who who yeah. is going to the extreme. And the, what is what you say, Stephen? That uh, there is a need for representations of minority. This is for sure. But uh, in a way, I don't have a problem with that. But in a way, I try to look also from the other side, you know. And it's becoming a little too much. This is true. It's it's like it's it's kind of like provoking those people who you know uh, think in a different way, uh, very much much more conservative. They don't understand the world that we're living right now. They don't understand what AI is, what it will bring, and everything that the new world uh, is is to bring about. Right. This is what I, what what I want to say. That uh, don't become yeah. extremists because you will become them. You start to hate. You're already doing this. You start to hate. Vicky? But in general, I agree <laughs> on not discriminating people, on showing the diversity, and there supporting you. people who have problems, black, gays, Jews, everybody that you know have, uh, has a problem in the world. And, right. and let's live yeah. our lives together. That's what I, I like. It. Vicky, what's your final thought? Come by. Oh, no, I can't top that. That was great. All right. Well done. Well, very good. My final, my final thought is: thank you everybody for watching us live every Monday. We're here live at eight thirty Eastern time. So figure that out if you're somewhere else in the world. We broadcasted for everybody on Tuesdays. Um, you can catch us on podcasting. Go to anywhere you get your podcast. Look for two old farts making noises. And if you like Adam on the Eve, look for Adam on the Eve. It's there along with all our other shows. And we have a new show of with whatever group of people Vicky, you know uh, you know what's happening now i thought because he said oh. adam adam on the eve you have become the yes. eve of the show now Ooh. you don't you don't have to come yeah. every time but it, anytime you come it'll be good you'll you'll see it'll be a yeah. good show the, because we need a woman yeah. uh, a woman is always needed you know it's uh, and david can't make must. it every time so. 
Uh, David can be here <laughs> also, but we are we are three guys, yeah. you know. There's too much of uh, manhood here. <laughs> manhood. We need a girl. Vicky, you're part. Vicky, I guess you're going to be part of the show now when you can. So okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Tell your friends. Don't forget to watch Vicky in real life every Sunday on our channel. Um, it's very cool. And uh, Adam will be back next week, and we will see you all uh, next Monday. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye, guys.